Hi everyone, myself uh, Uday Gadapati. So in this video, you will be able to understand how to change the background color of reference field. Okay, so changing the background color of normal field such as string type and such as uh, no drop down type so is different. You know, changing the background for uh, string type fields and uh, drop down fields type is actually different. So changing the background color of reference type fields is actually different. Okay, so here right. So if you want to change the background color of reference fields, so here the reference field is actually color field is actually reference field, affected color, configuration item, and assignment group, assign to all these are actually reference type fields. If you want to change the background color of the reference fields, so you have to you have to follow different approach, guys. So here you have to do some DOM manipulation in the scripting. So here I have actually created onload client script. In this onload client script, what exactly I am doing is so I am actually doing DOM manipulation here. So here, what exactly I am doing is I am actually using some jQuery. So in the jQuery, I am using sys underscore display dot. So I am actually taking the control of color field dot id. So this total jQuery function I have actually taken in the variable. So here I have taken the control of the color field and I have used this jQuery stuff here. So using which what I have done is I have actually used variable dot style dot background color is equal to lime green. So this is how you will actually change the background color of reference fields guys. Okay. So for normal fields, what exactly you can directly do is you can directly take a variable. So like, um, so where my where is equal to so you can directly take the control of that particular field. So this, this is applicable for which are non, which are actually not reference fields. So let us say you underscore name. So you underscore name, name field is actually not reference field. So if it is not reference field, we can directly take the control, but when it comes to the reference field, we have to use some DOM manipulation here. That is why I have actually used jQuery using jQuery. I have actually got the control of that color field. And then I have actually used this dot ID. So, and then I'm actually changing the background of this color. So here, right, when you are using DOM manipulation in the client strip, by default, the DOM manipulation is not allowed. That is why this checkbox is checked. So when you are using DOM manipulation, right, you have to uncheck this checkbox so that it will actually work. Okay. So now I have actually unchecked, unchecked this isolate checkbox and now it will actually work. So I have unchecked this one, right? Now let me just refresh this one. So now we will actually check whether the color field is actually color field background is actually changed or not. Now the color field background changed to green color. So if I, if I have to change it to red color, so I, I can actually change it to red color. Okay. So now I changed it to red color. So once the script is saved, let me just refresh this one here. So if I change it, the color of the, back, the background color, this color field will go to red color. See, now it goes to red color. So if I have to move it to yellow color or blue color, so it will go to blue color now. So changing the background color of not reference fields is different. Changing the background color of reference fields is different, guys. So you have to use this line of script to change the background color of the reference fields. So blue color I have actually kept, right? So now it is actually changed to blue color here. So likewise, you will change the background color of the reference fields. Okay. So remember guys, when you are doing DOM manipulation, you must uncheck the isolate script checkbox. So if you don't uncheck this one, right, the script will never work. So let me just try that one as well. I have, a, I have actually checked this checkbox. So now if I refresh this one, right, the script that you are writing will never work here. So let me just refresh again here. So it is now empty. So it is now white background. So if I uncheck this checkbox and save this one, now the script will work. So while you are doing DOM manipulation, right guys, you must remember you are unchecking the isolate script checkbox. So once you uncheck this isolate script checkbox, right? Now you are now the DOM manipulation is allowed in the client side stripping. So now, now see guys, the background color is changed to blue color. Okay, so just remember this point 
when you are trying to change the background color of the reference fields you must approach this way so when you are trying to um, change the background color of string type fields or drop down type fields so we can actually directly take the control and um, so you can actually use this line of script like this one okay so you can comment it out and you can actually provide the name q underscore name okay so you can actually save this one so name field is actually the name field is not a reference field so if i refresh this one the background color of the name will be changed so the background color of the name will be changed so now the background color of the name is changed to blue color so here i did not use any dom manipulation here so here i did not any i did not use any jquery i did not use any uh, dom manipulation here so i did directly take the control and i did uh, use dot style dot background color is equal to blue blue so this is how you will actually change the background color of the reference fields and you will change the background color of uh, you know normal fields such as string type and drop down type and uh, you know active check boxes so this is how you will actually change the background colors guys so if you like our videos please do subscribe and uh, you know comment our channel guys thank you very much